Hi everyone, uh, here at Rigid, Rigid Wood, uh, we have uh, Albert Torres here who's going to help us explain uh, regarding the new product, so take on your time. Yeah, how so, you doing? Uh, My name is Albert Torres, I'm with Rigid Industries, been with them for about eight and a half years. Uh, been able to see this product do what it did for this market from the Dooley to the E-Series bar and now all the new product that we do. The way we'll start it off, here we have the new SRL series. The SRL series comes in two or three options. And that's going to be the bar, that's 20 inches. And then we have the small spreaders. Um, the small spreaders, you can either get it in a uh, surface mount with a pedestal, or you can get it in a flush mount. That way you can go ahead and, and cut the hole in the bumper, cut the hole in the camper, you can go ahead and flush that. And we'll, we'll see an example on it on the Jeep. Um, yes, so this has a has a small degree that's curved just like our single row uh, RDS bar. So we added that on there so that it can give that beam pattern a really nice spread. Um, the other thing we added was the back row, as you can see, they come in four different colors, amber, red, white, and blue. Okay, and let's go up. Yeah, the next bar, let's go with and the next one we have here is going to be the Adapt. Uh, the Adapt has been out for a couple years, the original Adapt. Great light for us, continues to grow in the market. Uh, this Adapt, what it brought to the, the market was being able to change the beam patterns from a spot all the way to a flood. Eight different beam patterns. So with the Adapt E-Series, we're able to get more patterns out of it, but bring that at a lower cost price. So now, uh, the way we have uh, the way we were able to set up with the Adapt is we used all our optics that you already know we have, our spot, our drive, and our scene flood, and we put it all into one. Um, what we did with this light, uh, what we did with this light is we were able to put it all in one light bar, add GPS, so now you just turn it on, two hands on the wheel, and the light beam is going to do it all by itself. Um, as you start, and say you're going through a windy road, it'll be nice and wide. As you start going faster, it'll go into a narrow for a spot. Yes, predictive. so the algorithm that's programmed on here, it reads your miles per hour. If you're going 35, climbing to 40, the light will read that and give you a 40 to 45 beam uh, pattern, that way you don't outrun the light. You have plenty of light, whether it's for distance as you're growing in speed, or if you're slowing down for a turn, so do that in the spread and the flood. And then I can give you some when we get back in the horizontal zero. Okay. No way if you don't like turn. The next product we have is the... Yeah, we can This is the... They literally just... Will it work if I hang it um, the next product we have is the 360 series. The 360 series is something new for us as a form factor. Um, we still took our, our strong optics like our spot and put that in the round housing. Uh, we were able to make a new optic of the drive um, and then we added, or should I say, kept the, the back glow. So now you have a round form factor in a 6 inch or a 4 inch where you've got four different colors to pick from. And you can white or blue and two different beam patterns spot or drive. So now you have your distance and your spread. The other addition to this 360 family would be our SAE line, which we'll talk more of it on the other side. Um, you also have the selected line. Absolutely. So on the SAE line, you have two versions. You have the white and the selective yellow. Um, the reason for that is white, obviously, we're known for that bright, prominent uh, lighting that we already portray. But the, the selective yellow is for those instances where you have dust or any type of weather element like rain or snow. Um, it helps give you that clarity. The white light can actually bounce back. Amber, uh, or selective yellow, I should say, actually cuts through that and gives you the visible So that would be the 360. Um, beautiful Jeep here that you guys see the rounds and 360s on top. So some of the new product that's on there is, is a 360. Uh, we don't have the adapter here. We don't have the SRL spreader. So these are the SRL spreaders I was saying. They do a flush mount, uh, nice red, and then reverse light or work light in the back. So like the... Uh, if you wanted a smaller version, it's like a chase. Right. Yeah, almost like a chase without all the five functions. Uh -huh. What you have here is you have a halo that you can tie into either a brake or a warning or something. You also have a prominent white light yeah. reverse or work light. Um, right over here, we have the rest of the SAE line. Uh, you saw that when we did it, the route factor, the features factor, but this is what started it all for us. Uh, the original, we have the, the white bully. Um, this became our number one top five speed in the first year. That's what led us into it. 